Today on to Advent, we return to our main topic from a few days ago uh, with a question from Peter Wood on Facebook, who says, Advent Day 5 reminded me of a question I've pondered from sci-fi in general, Doctor Who and Star Trek in particular. With all the pretenders to godhood we've imagined in SF worlds, what would make a being an actual god? If there are entities that are omnipotent, or appear so, to a society with advanced technology, which are not gods, what would the litmus test for a god be? And he says that he's come to a conclusion about what that is, but he wants to hear my opinion. Well, Peter, as I'm a Christian, that's quite an easy question for me to answer, actually, because I don't believe we define gods, but God defines himself. And the way that he has most obviously revealed himself is in the life and the person of Jesus. So anyone who claims godhood, for me, has to measure up to him. Interestingly enough, Doctor Who is rather silent on the person of Jesus. He merits only two mentions on a Doctor Who transcript site, though one of them is a mistake that I've traced to the subtitles from the DVD of the War Games. Smart tape! Smart stop! What I hope you can hear there is that General Smythe actually says resistance. The other clip comes from the recent The Next Doctor and comes quite naturally in the context of a funeral service. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. So there's really not much to go on there. The closest that I think Doctor Who has ever come to really commenting on Jesus is in Planet of the Dead, where we hear this from the Doctor. Funny thing is I don't often do Easter, I can never find it. It's always at a different time, although I remember the original. Between you and me, what really happened was... Oh, sorry, hold on to that for me. Now, to me, the implication of that clip is that the Doctor is about to contradict a commonly held view about what happened at the first Easter. Though I'm not sure in the UK there is a consensus about that anymore. So he could equally well be confirming or denying the Gospel reports. And to be honest, I'm not sure that Doctor Who will ever come any closer to commenting on Jesus again. Time for today's Only Connect clue. Here's the third clue for two points. What's the connection between these four things? If you think you know, email min underscore dw at yahoo.co.uk. Do please keep the ideas flowing in. Um, use the hashtag to of advent, just at me on Twitter, or of course there's the email address min underscore dw at yahoo.co.uk.